everyone welcome to this update video i really hope you're doing amazing so we're going to be looking at what is happening across the north atlantic so we can see a lot of uh, some spots of a lot of convection out there so we've got tropical storm oscar so oscar was a hurricane and uh, has since been downgraded to a tropical storm it made landfall in cuba and it is almost stationary in the area because it's going to be making a curve so it has completely slowed down and is going to be dumping a lot more rain in eastern cuba today some areas could experience up to 12 inches of rain that's a lot definitely flood triggering and uh rainfall amounts that would trigger mudslides as well so we're going to be taking a look at the system and we're also going to be talking about uh what else is there to anticipate because i mean uh, models have been pretty consistent about seeing additional development in the west caribbean as we're going to be heading into the end of october so we're going to be looking at that just the same so let's go ahead and kick start things so all that activity out there that's associated with a tropical wave that is propagating to the west and if that should move close by and uh, with enough activity in association with it as what we're seeing now then it could definitely increase the rainfall for parts of the lesser antilles and again there we've got oscar out to there another tropical wave uh is well off the african coast and another is in the central caribbean right now within the vicinity of jamaica so that may help out to influence the rain for the island today and as we take a look at this graphic here we can see where the axes of the tropical waves are so we've got oscar there we can see that symbol there's that tropical wave in the uh, central caribbean there's that next one on approach to the region and that most recent one to emerge off of africa so as we zoom into the Caribbean, though, here we can see Oscar at a much closer view. A lot of activity right now with it. A lot of rain in parts of eastern Cuba. So as I said, some areas could experience up to 12 inches of rain throughout today. So that is some you know, pretty significant rainfall amounts. And towards Central America, there is also some activity, likely some periods of showers and thunderstorms. So for parts of the Bay Islands of Honduras, the Keys, Belize, Guatemala, there is a bit of activity around, even for some spots in Mexico as well. Lesser Antilles, likely some passing showers throughout this morning for some areas. ABC Islands should be mostly in the clear. And then for Jamaica, some of us have experienced some showers. Uh, for me in St. James uh, last night, for example, we got a pretty decent uh, downpour because of one of the outer bands of Oscar. So Oscar is still going to be around. It's still impacting parts of the Bahamas. Uh, some of that activity may also spread to sections of the Turks and Caicos Islands, but it's really Cuba that will be feeling the worst of it. Looking at the rainfall forecast for today, here we can see what is expected. So we can see a lot of color around on this map for parts of Central America, Mexico, Belize, the Keys, the Bay Islands, parts of Guatemala, Northern Honduras, and even further south, El Salvador, parts of Nicaragua, Costa Rica, Panama, there could be some downpours today. Not going to be for everywhere, though, within Central America. Then as we head to parts of Northern and South America, similar story. Some uh, heavy downpours possible across some spots in Colombia, Venezuela, and even headed to parts of Guyana. And then as we take a look at the Lesser Antilles, we can see that uh, there is going to be a bit of an increase in rain for parts of the Windward Islands. It gets a little bit more colorful in that area compared to the Leeward Islands. So from around St. Lucia southward through Grenada, including parts of Trinidad, especially in the east, Tobago, Barbados, there could be a bit of uh, rainfall activity around later today. And then as we head further north, going to uh, Martinique, northward through Anguilla, there could be some passing showers. ABC Islands, which is not expected, but there could be some showers in the area. Then as we head to sections of the Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico, there could also be some downpours, scattered showers and thunderstorms possible in parts of Hispaniola, Jamaica, and uh, things should be a little bit on the drier side for the Cayman Islands and much of western Cuba. As we head to the Bahamas, we can see that for the Northern Islands, there could be some showers around here and there. Then as we head further south, also going to the Turks and Caicos Islands, it gets a bit more colorful. So maybe up to an inch or two inches of rain across the islands in association with Oscar. But then for Cuba, as we take an even closer look here, we can see some of these uh, pale gray bluish shadings. So that is indicating those staggering rainfall amounts exceeding 12 inches today. So a lot of rainfall likely in eastern Cuba as Oscar is going to be loitering around because again, it's not going to be moving out quickly. And 
let's go ahead and take a look at the details for Oscar. So that's it in terms of the rainfall. And as we switch to the National Hurricane Center's cone forecast, here we can see still Oscar is weakening because, again, it is overland. It is cut off from its source of fuel and energy. So maximum sustained winds are up to 50 miles per hour, so it is a tropical storm. And it is accelerating westward at 2 miles per hour, almost stationary again. It is completely slowing down because it is about to make that curve up to the north and then move out to the northeast. So we still have much of eastern Cuba under that tropical storm warning, even a watch extension to parts of central Cuba. A uh, tropical storm watch also in effect for much of the central Bahamas and then the southern Bahamas under a tropical storm warning. So Oscar is going to be around for some time and I mean look at how little it's going to be moving between now and early tomorrow morning. It's going to be uh, the center is now over eastern Cuba but is expected to be just north of Cuba by 2 a.m. tomorrow. So it's still going to be around. It's going to be dumping a lot of rainfall throughout today and then that rain threat will Will spread back to the uh, southern Bahamas as well as even parts of the central Bahamian Islands could experience some tropical storm conditions, those uh, strong winds, the storm surge, and the heavy rainfall. So for now, Oscar is moving very slowly, but it will gradually pick up in its acceleration as it makes its turn to the north and northeast. So that is what is going on with it right now. Much strengthened, not at all expected because the upper level winds are pretty unfavorable. So that is going to be helping to limit how much Oscar can re-intensify. So even though it will be moving back into water because the center is over land right now, even though it's going to be moving back into water, it is still going to encounter uh, unfavorable environmental conditions that won't allow for any significant strengthening. So that's some good news with it. Nonetheless, tropical storm impacts, dangerous conditions throughout today for Cuba. Now let's head on to the next area we want to watch for potential development. That would be the Western Caribbean. Now this is not something strange to see, especially at this time of year, late October, or even going into November, because this is where we typically see a lot of systems originating within uh, at this time of year. So conditions usually get a bit more unfavorable in uh, the Gulf, for example, and much of the North Atlantic, but the Caribbean uh, may breed some favorable environmental conditions to support tropical development. So as we're going to be heading into the next 10 days, uh, well, actually going out to Wednesday, the 30th of October. So that's next Wednesday. There we can see the tracks for Oscar right now, but we see these different ensemble members picking up on something else in the West Caribbean, trying to get itself together around that time. Pretty interesting. As we head on to the GFS ensemble members, we also see uh, these members are kind of scattered about, nothing very solid, but just the mere fact that they're all picking up on an air of low pressure, trying to get itself together, that speaks volume. We could certainly see this area uh getting active again and it's not just about the ensembles even looking at the numerical runs of the models we even see where there have been those hints of development as we're going to be heading into the end of October. So guys, the hurricane season is not over yet. And after Oscar, the next name on the list is Patty. So that's the next name to be used for this hurricane season. So we'll see what eventually happens. We'll see if the trends continue and if the National Hurricane Center eventually highlights the area. But if there is going to be a next area to watch, it's likely going to be in the Western Caribbean, guys. So I'm here to keep you posted though. And that is essentially what I I wanted to share with you in this update video and i really do hope you found it to be informative however if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments i will respond to you when i have the chance to do so and remember to always be otherwise